you know, this is the the beginnings of people being able to experience what it's like to have a, a multi-chain ecosystem in the XRPL space, which is something that the, the EVM-based people have had for many years now. Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update for Japan. That was Scott Chamberlain. He's the co-founder of Evernode. That is the layer two smart contract app on the Zahao network. I updated my Zum wallet. Now it's been rebranded as Zaman, and that is to version 2.6.0. It's super easy. I mean, super easy. In this video, we have some huge news for the holder of the digital asset XRP. And I really do mean huge news. But just to finish this train of thought, if you want some help in that um, upgrading to the new version, the XRPL services has an update with some tools that they have built on an X app. And yeah, it, the process is very simple and you will get two Zahao tokens for free, which then you can play with on the network. And one of those things you can do is set a new trust line. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I just don't know how to do this trust line business. Well, let me show you someone who's done a very good video on that. Thanks to XRP Bags, he did a fantastic video on how to add the Zahao network to your Zum or now what's called Zaman app. I think this is going to be like Twitter where, you know, we say uh, formally Twitter, now the X platform. Eventually people are going to drop Twitter. And I think eventually people are going to drop the word Zum also and just use Zaman. But in that transitionary period, I think we have a tendency to want to use both names. And then you can set that Evernode uh, trust line and he'll show you how and it's a very good tutorial. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. Now Scott is going to be at the XRP conference on the Gold Coast in Australia, which takes place in March 2024. And if you've bought a ticket, you know that we are using the BPM wallet and they have this NFT ticketing system which is very, very smart. So if you did buy a ticket, you'll want to download their app to get that NFT, which gives you the event security as an attendee. Allow me to play just the rest of that clip so that you can see we are in the beginning of this multi-chain XRPL ecosystem, and it is a brave new world. Yes, a brave new world. Have a listen. How come I I don't see those stable coins? And so go to add. Yeah. Yep. So you on on Zahao? Ah, I see it now. There it is, GitHub. You click on GitHub and you'll see the three. I see it. And, okay. and with your um, gifted Zahao, you can set. There's enough Zahao to set trust lines for all of those stable coins for all of those GitHub options. Yay! Good. Great. And now you're good to go. Good, good, good. Awesome. Yeah, Euro, Dollar, yeah, it's XRP, fantastic. and Evernode. It's fantastic. Yeah, amazing. And then that means there's a how back on, if you go to back to the XRP ledger, and go to add tokens, you'll see that one of GitHub's options is the how. Ah, ah, it's an ecosystem. <laughs> Finally. And, and this is what we meant when we, we said exchanges are the best form of bridge. Yeah, this is the best kind of bridge. Yay. I just put the US dollars in my Zaman, the trust line. Woo, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So brave new world, brave new world.
We have some really big XRP ecosystem news today. It's something that I found and I posted it just a couple of hours ago on X. It's big. It really is big. It's about the automated market maker on the XRP ledger. Research reveals that the XRP automated market maker that is leveraging that market volatility, as it's been called harvesting that volatility, outperforms Uniswap. It outperforms in slippage and with the impermanent loss reduction, the, the pace of price synchronization and overall optional efficiency. Now you're saying to yourself, okay, so what? Most of the 854 billion traded on decentralized exchanges in 2022 traded on Uniswap. Of the 1.2 million unique traders who use right now decentralized exchanges, only 145,000 did not use Uniswap. Currently, there are 1,093 coins and 2,011 trading pairs available on Uniswap. This is their version three. This is an Ethereum-based protocol. The 24-hour volume is reported to be at 1,128,788,490. This is Ethereum. So remember, the XRP ledger trading fees are a fraction of a penny. There were some incredible people that researched this paper. One of them is Dr. Yebo Fang. He's a researcher that is currently in Singapore. He did get his PhD degree from the computer science department at the University of Oregon, where he conducted the research in the Center for Cybersecurity and Privacy, CCSP. Um, the other person that really stands out that contributed to this paper is Dr. Paola Tasca. And I, I'm just pretty sure if you've been around in the space, you know about him. He actually also co-founded Quant. He reposted my post and made a comment that his research at the DLT Science and UKCBT underscore org, this would be what? The World Center of Excellence on Blockchain Technologies in the United Kingdom, where he is an executive director, uh, participated on this AMM for the seminal for benchmarking various solutions in this space. So as of now, the XRPL AMM standards excel in several aspects compared to traditional AMN solutions. Wow, I'm just flabbergasted. I think we're just on the verge of the XRP ledger being recognized as an incredible uh, ecosystem. And that value is going to translate to many things, not only just users and developers, but also within the XRP token itself. Before I play a clip that's going to take you out in this video, which really does capture the, the fact that we are becoming a multi-chain ecosystem and the interoperability is just going to give us that next big leap into the future with using crypto and blockchain. I want to let you know that it is winter solstice time. And here in Japan, what is done is a hot bath with yuzu. Yuzu is a fruit that is used to float in your hot water. And it really brings a refreshing, perfect wintertime tradition. So until next time, do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm Scott Chamberlain. I'm one of the co-founders of Evernote. Uh, I'm actually a, an academic at the Australian National University. We're one of the initial UBRI partners, part of Ripple's University Blockchain Research Initiative. We used the the Ripple grant principally to research smart contracts and more specifically smart contracts on the XRP ledger. And so the pitch that I'd made uh, to be part of Ubri was about using the Codius XRP tech stack to do smart contract research. And that research was all about 
you say smart contracts can do X. Well, let's find out if that's true. Let's build, pick a use case, build a working toy, do what we can to try and prove whether that use case can be done technically and also legally. And the first use case that we targeted was uh, decentralized identity. So we came up with a self KYC solution um, on the XRP ledger. Um, but what we found was that Codius didn't do what we needed it to do for the smart contract component. We ended up building um, a piece of software we called Hot Pocket, which was a, a which was a smart contract engine using a UNL consensus mechanism. All of that grew out to become Evernote. We ended up needing uh, the hooks technology to be adopted as an amendment on the XRP ledger. And when we first started building Evernode, we were hopeful that that's, that's how it would all end up. Um, in fact, we'd assumed that hooks would be adopted on the XRPL. Um, it didn't pan out that way. It ended up being on a side chain. And so Evernode has to go where hooks go. Uh, we had nearly 40,000 um, registrants for the airdrop. And there are, last count, there's about 16,000 accounts created on Zahao. It'd be very nice to have all 40,000 people bring their accounts across to Zahao before we, before we launch. For those of you who've used the ZUM wallet to go through that process or the Zaman wallet, you'll see how like painless it is to use. It's user-friendly. It's nice and um, it's seamless and you know, it's enormous confidence that, that people can do it correctly and not get it wrong. You know, even I was able to do it without, without instruction and I'm not the most tech-savvy guy in the world. We've programmed an airdrop hook where everybody who registered for the airdrop will have their evers inside effectively a lock box on the on the in the hook like a safe deposit box and the only key to their safe deposit box is their their address on on Zahao, which they control the secret key to so that's the key to unlock the evers that are inside the hook against their address and so we can deposit the evers into the hook at a, at a particular time, at the time when everyone gets their Evers in the same capacity before any Evers have traded, before Evers have any value whatsoever. Uh, and that minimises the, the risk that people have some unintended tax consequence. From our perspective, the moment the Evers go in the hook, they're no longer ours, we don't control them. Um, they are owned individually by each person person who controls the keys against um, the, the addresses loaded in the hook. The most important thing for Evernode now is, is about hosts. So um, the Evernode network works is a decentralized cloud hosting platform for, for dApps. And the more hosts you have on the network, the more valuable the network uh, is overall. And so um, once the airdrop is out of the way, the, the crucial thing for us as an ecosystem is to is to have as many uh, hosts on the network as possible. And there will be hosting rewards um, that are skewed towards early adopters. And so the way the reward works is every hour the ho the uh, there is a red, there is a hook with evers in it, and every hour. Um, that hook distributes uh, evers equally to all the reliable hosts on the network. In the we distribute this in epochs. There's five million one hundred and sixty nine hundred six hundred and ninety evers to distribute every epoch. In the first epoch, it will take six weeks to distribute those evers, and we will distribute them at five thousand one hundred and twenty evers each hour. So every hour for the first six weeks. 5,120 evers will be distributed equally to all of the reliable hosts on the network. And then once that's done, the next the next epoch starts and that epoch goes for 12 weeks. And so the hourly rewards are halved. So now it's 2,560. And then the epoch after that, 1,280, et cetera. So we have this, this similar concept to the Bitcoin halving. That is done so that we're rewarding early adopters, right? That the sooner that you become a host, 
you know, the more generous the rewards are coming from the hook. It's not complicated, like it's not hard to do, and the team's done quite a reasonable job of of making it as simple as possible to do, which is that's 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 been very good of them to do that. We're going to touch base with Erie again on the 17th of January, two days after our launch. Uh, and hope you join us again then. We'll talk a little bit about the launch process and how it all went. Uh, but we also then want to talk about the next most important thing after getting lots of hosts, which is getting lots of devs. And so we'll look at the sorts of things that you can build on Evernode um, and talk a little bit about the uh, Codathon that is coming up as part of the XRPL uh, conference on the Gold Coast. Okay.